OK, this is a step-by-step -step lesson plan for the premium ESL worksheet Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs is a lesson that should take between 45 minutes to an hour and is recommended for pre-intermediate students who have learnt about dinosaurs in their first language and so have some knowledge of the different dinosaurs mentioned in the worksheet. A warm-up exercise that reiterates this previously learnt knowledge is recommended to begin the lesson, such as asking the students to each name their favourite dinosaur in turn and why they like that particular dinosaur. So for example you may get answers at such as my favourite dinosaur is the Tyrannosaurus rex. I like his big teeth. You should hand out a worksheet to each class member and then ask the pupils in turn to name each of the different dinosaurs pictured, correcting pronunciation where necessary. Begin task 1 by asking random students if a particular dinosaur is a carnivore, i.e. a meat eater, or a herbivore, i.e. a plant eater as this will help them complete the sentences in task 1. You should give the class 5 to 10 minutes to complete this task. Once the class has completed task 1, ask random pupils for answers to each of the five dinosaurs, correcting them where necessary. Task 2 asks the pupils to draw a picture of their favourite dinosaur and then write three interesting facts about it. You should give the students 10 to 15 minutes to complete this task, walking around the class to help with grammar and vocabulary where necessary. Once the class has completed task 2, choose random students to come to the front of the class to present their dinosaur picture and dinosaur facts. Try to cover as many different dinosaurs as you can. Finally, task 3 is a short reading comprehension that tests both the student's English and their knowledge of dinosaurs. Please note that this task does introduce some quite difficult vocabulary, so you might want to begin the task by giving definitions of some of the words. You should give the class 5 to 10 minutes to complete task three. Thank you for listening.